position three, 56, Fred Gibson in the Turbo Bluebird. From position four, car eight, Gary Wilmington in the Falcon. From five is 105, Terry Finnegan in the Commodore. From position six, car 12, Jim Keogh of Victoria in the Commodore. From position seven, car 47, Brian Callahan in a Falcon. From position eight, 28, Barry Lawrence in a Commodore. From nine, 38, Bernie Stack in a Commodore. From 10, car three, Mike Bergman in a Camaro. From position 11, car number 55, Christine Gibson in the Turbo Bluebird. From 12, car 19, Ken Matthews in a Commodore. They're ready for the start of the first round of the Amscar Better Breaks here at Amaru Park. 16 cars on the grid, the front two both under the lap record in practice yesterday. Barry Jones, car 41, Terry Shield in car 37. Shield, the outright lap record holder, 53.2, but he did a 52.5 yesterday. Jones was half a second quicker. The flag is raised. Racing in the first heat of the better breaks, Anscar, and getting away very smartly off the inside is Barry Jones, tailgated by Terry Shield. Gary Wilmington very quick to begin. Fred Gibson is away smartly, and there goes Christine Gibson following the field up to the top of Bitcher Pave, where they'll drop into Dunlop for the first time. Jones the leader, Shield in second. Wilmington making a brilliant start there, and Terry Finnegan just ahead of uh, the first of the turbine. This old driver's Fred Gibson. And Christine Gibson in the 11th place, going around, be a lot of interest in her in this 10 lap race. Very hard after 21 months in layoff to come back in such a top field in a strange car, turbocharged, but she is a great driver and will follow her progress with interest, as will her husband Fred. But only when he gets to the finish, because he's busy at the moment trying to catch these cars. He's running fourth. The two leaders are, as they practice, Barry Jones leading from Terry Shield. So it's 1 2 for Mazda RX7 and the Falcon of Gary Wilmington. That's a good effort in front of Freddie Gibson. But this is the man leading for the first lap. Head tucked in, Barry Jones. Wilmington, then Freddie Gibson. Across the strike, one of ten laps completed, nine remain, and on the tail of Barry Jones in the Darrell Lee car is Terry Shield, closing up very dramatically out of Dunlop Loop and working the back side of the course, Jones in the 41 car, Shield in 37. Then you can see the gap back to Wilmington, the first of the Fords, and closing up on him is Fred Gibson in the first of the Turbo Nissans. Gibson very, very close in uh, fourth place, but these are the two battling for the lead at the moment. Barry Jones, who prepares a lot of the, uh, the car engines, Shield, who holds the lap record. Well, we have clear spaces, as you can see, as Channel 7 brings you race cam from Amaru Park Raceway, and we're travelling along with Barry Jones in the 41 car. Pole City yesterday, under the track record, and across the strike now for two completed laps, and eight remain in the first heat this afternoon of the better breaks. Calling up the top of... Mitchell Pave Hill and dropping down to Dunlop Loop. Perhaps an opportunity for Evan to take us around the course with Barry Jones. Well, you're in the fast man in the field, fastest in practice. Now he's leading the race. He's coming sweeping down towards Mazda Corner. That's appropriate. He's in an RX-7. This is the part where you suck your breath in. Flat out through this corner. You've got to get it dead right. You use up all the track, as you can see. Then he'll sweep to the right-hand side of the track to swing left to Honda. The only real left-hander on the circuit. Out wide to those marker strips. A bit of a kink as he comes down towards Winfield Corner, which lies at the end. This is the most dangerous circuit, a part of the circuit rather. More than a 90 degree bend to the right. You must get this right, close to the wall, and you've got to come out of there fast, because here lies the main straight. CRC past the start finish line, and you've taken one very fast lap with Barry Jones. They have now covered eight laps. Up the hill again, Barry Jones standing on the gas. 41, the Darrell Lee RX-7 goes over the top of Bitcher Pave in second spot and still uh, chasing him hard as Terry Shield in the number 37 RX-7. And the dice back in third still continues with, uh, of course, the Nissan Turbo of uh, Freddie Gibson and, of course, Terry Finnegan. Here we go, picking up again on that great scrap for third place with Finnegan still running in third and using all of the racetrack, really working the rear end of uh, the Commodore. It's all over the place and trying very, very hard to keep the uh, Turbo Nissan behind him. They've got a car to be lapped coming up and that uh, might make things interesting. It just depends when they strike him. It's car 42, one of the slower RX, that was Terry Ryan at the wheel. He had problems in qualifying yesterday. He's moving over to let them through. And both cars slipped through, so he did the right thing now. But these two quick men go, but you can see how hard Finnegan is trying in that Commodore. He really is wagging the tail. The last lap board is out. These are the persons fighting for third and fourth. Finnegan just leading Gibson across the line. 
and up maybe 200 metres in front of them. The battle still goes on for the lead. Coming down the back part of the circuit for the final time, and Terry Shield has gone through to take the lead away from Barry Jones. A surprising move on that part of the course. Jones, of course, who led from the outset, and now only three corners from home. It's Terry Shield, the track record holder, who has gone through to take over the lead, and no matter how hard Barry Jones is challenging, it looks like Shield is going to go on and record a win in the opening heat here today. He's a lap record holder. Jones was faster, faster in practice yesterday, but Shield's going to win this heat. There are two more to go, though, and Barry Jones will be thinking a lot as he crosses the line in second place, saying, what happened there? How can I make sure it doesn't happen again? And talking of things happening, look at Freddie Gibson really making life miserable for Terry Finnegan, but he won't get by, and he can't get much closer than that. So, the first three placings then. Terry Shield in the RX-7, passing just three corners from the end. Barry